Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we have Farmhouse, what? <laughs> farmhouse Suicidal Gunslinger. Um, so, I took a break between the last episode and this one. I didn't know what it played. I came back, hit start, but I still had my music on, so I had to like pause it, and then I was like looking away. I had no idea what we were playing, until <laughs> I just like identified it. I had no idea. It could have been a map I did not like, but thankfully, well, a map that I wouldn't have played, and I would have had to like go and find a new one. Anyway, it's uh... I really gotta use the washroom. I've, I've really gotta use the washroom. I'll be right back. Quick little emergency break is over. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... I'm not, I'm not gonna go over the experience of using the washroom with you, okay? You might have, might have been expecting that I would, because I will talk about like anything at length. I feel like it just uh, crosses a boundary there. However, I did, uh... <sighs> I'm really yawning now all of a sudden, I don't know why. I headed upstairs and there was some, some sesame chicken, apparently, that's, uh, that my family had made. I tried a little bit of it, it was pretty good. But, uh... I just put the rest of it in the fridge. Like I said in the, in the last episode, I've already eaten enough sushi today, I don't really need anything else. I just, had a little bit of bite of it. It'll be good tomorrow though, make some rice and put it on that. Maybe make some rice tonight even. Have some, some fried rice with the sesame chicken. Could be good. Come see me. The pod's safely open. Nicely done. That's probably like too much work for me to do tonight. I'm feeling kinda lazy, honestly. It's it's a lazy day today. It's a day of, of lazing around and reading. I've been reading the um the uh Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint Manwa. I have no idea how to pronounce it. It's the uh, the Korean webtoons. And then um, I've also been reading the web novel. Because I finished the, the webtoon. And I was like, yeah, I like it. I want to read more. So I, yeah, I started reading the, the web novel. It's kind of my, my issue that I have with um, media. It ends, you know? Like, if you, if you ever watched a movie or something, or a TV show, or read a book, or whatever. The worst part is when you finish, I mean, it's kind of like the best part as well, but it's also the worst part, you know? It's a very bittersweet moment. Perhaps with movies, it's a little bit less so, you know, it's kind of a shorter investment of, of time. But with, uh, with like, a show, or... The, with the show or uh, you know TV show book, some that that runs a little bit longer. You know when you get to the end of it after a few months, even years, it just it just feels bad. But uh, you know it is what it is. If even weeks, honestly, like I have, uh, oh my god, just like destroyed. Even uh, even weeks. I I read uh, web novels on occasion. I when I read a web novel, I typically only like reading ones that are completed. And you know, you 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 could you could say like, what are you, what are you talking about? Like you just said that you hate that they end, and you're specifically searching for ones that end. Well, yeah, because like, it also sucks when you read something. Okay, what I what I hate isn't the ending, right? It's that. I, I have to stop reading it. You know? I, I don't hate the ending itself. I like it. I appreciate it. So I have to stop reading. So even if it's, um, you know, if it's not completed, I'm gonna still gonna have to stop reading. I'm gonna get caught up, you know, in a day or two. And then, uh, or, you know, depending on how long it is, I might get caught up in a little bit longer than a day or two. Um, but then I'm, I'm stuck waiting for a while, you know? Like, I, uh, I read Azarenth Healer a while back, which is a, uh, I believe, an English web novel written on Railroad.com. Same place where I write wha my red, <laughs> same place where I write my web novel, Shara's Many Faces. You should go read it, or don't. It's not a particularly great story, but I like it. I don't, I don't write much in it, but anyway, I read uh, Azarenth Healer, and I got to the end of it. It wasn't finished. It was just like 
still ongoing, but like I got caught up, right? And it's like, yeah, I just I want to read more, but I have to like take a break. So I haven't read it in I don't know a month, two months maybe. Probably two months, I think. Maybe a little bit more than that, even. Maybe three. I don't know how long. How long has it been since I read Azeroth Healer? You'd probably know better than me if you've been if you've been watching. I find I find that. Uh, the people around me typically know more about what I've been doing with my life than me. I just, I can't remember. I think it's probably been three months since, maybe four even. How long has it been since I read Azeroth Healer? I do not know. Because it would have been before I started writing Shara's Many Faces. And it would have been quite a while before I started writing Shara's Many Faces. Um, I think. And that was like two months ago, three months ago? I can't remember. That's the thing, I don't remember these things, okay? The time, it all just... You know, kind of blends together, okay? It's all the same to me. Today, tomorrow, next week, last week, they're all the same thing. Perfect. Pod is open again. Let's get anyway. So I, 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 I can go read that, I guess, again, maybe. Might be a, a bit of a backlog. I think they're writing a few chapters a week, so there should be a fairly decent backlog, even. But then it's just, it's the same problem, right? So it's like, I, I leave it for a while, I get caught up again, and then I'm stuck again, you know? I used to watch anime. I don't I don't watch anime too much anymore. I do want to watch Death Note. I do want to watch Death Note um, again. I watched it a few times. It's a good anime. I like it. Um, but I used to, I used to, like, keep up with the anime, you know? Like, I'd, I'd look at uh, Andy Chart. You know what? We had, uh... Oh, jeez. Um, that's bad. How do I... There. Anychart.net. Is there anything here that you shouldn't see? I don't think there was. Yeah, we got the, the final season of uh, Attack on Titan, which I do want to watch. Yaksoku no Neverland 2. Oh my, really? Definitely want to watch that. Dr. Stone, which is like garbage. Um, that time I was reincarnated as a slime second season. That's actually sick. I'll probably want to watch that. ReZero. Um, second season part two. That's yeah, also probably something I want to watch. Five. What is that? What, I, I, can't, I can't translate that. Five Tobun no... Hanayomi, which is, ah, I can't think of it, I can't think of it, Google Translate, help me, 5 Tobun no Hanayomi, um, Tobo, and, and Han Hanayomi is bride, I just don't know what the Tobun means. Maybe it's a name? Oh, Five Brides, maybe? I don't know. Horimiya? Okay. Probably want to watch that. That's, like, my favorite manga of all time. You know, I can just show you this, I guess. So you have uh, Attack on Titan, second season. This is a good one. This is garbage. This is good. This might be okay. This is the Five Tobun no Hanayomi, which I, I think might be just Five Brides or something like that. My Five Brides, or... The Five Twin Brides, I don't know. Horimiya, my favorite manga of all time. I'm like really worried that it's going to like have a <laughs> really bad title thing. Second season of Haraku Saibo, which is amazing. This is a great anime. It's actually like educational too. This is this is really, really cool. I recommend this all the time. Mushoku Tensai Sakai Tata Itara Honki Dasu. Um, dasu, rather. Ruby, Rudy. Yeah, okay, I've read the manga. It's, 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 eh. Um, Kumo desu ga nanika. This is actually pretty good, but anime is probably not that good. It is, this doesn't get translated well to anime. Just saying it. It's a lot of spiders. I'm not going to be interested. Jakuchara Tomozaki kun. Um, yeah, doesn't seem that interesting. Kaifuku jutsu no yari naoshi. Um,. It's like the wrong way to be a healer or something like that. Hidden dungeon is... This is garbage. This You, you can just see it, okay? One guy and four girls on the title screen. You know what's, you know what's garbage. 
Tatoiba Lost Dungeon. This is okay, I think. Kamono Jihen. This is also, I believe, okay. Uh, X arm looks like garbage. This girl's probably wearing a skin tight suit, and this dude probably accidentally falls into her boobs. Calling it World Trigger 2. World Trigger 1 was like something I watched, but it's not good. Um, Hortensia Saga, probably not that good. Uma Musume, probably not that good either. Um, looking for something else that might be watchable here. Like, you just, you just like. You know, all of these and how many of them did I say, hey, that actually looks like it might be okay. You know, like how, how many of them were actually like potential interests for me. Not that many is, is really what it boils down to. There were a couple there that kind of interested me, but it's just like, it's just, it's just a lot of like garbage. And uh, you know, if you like it, it's no problem. I, 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 I read a lot of trash. I read a lot of trash. I, uh, you know, I've, I've probably read, uh, you know, whoever you are, whatever kind of passion you have for anime, and you like the the fan servicey garbage. It's okay. I've probably read more like BL smut than than you've watched, you know, harem anime. Okay. I get it. I get it. Sometimes you just want some some trashy goodness. I get it. I get it. But for me, I just I don't uh, I don't enjoy the uh, the anime garbage. I enjoy the uh, the. The manga garbage. And, uh... Get out of here. Just most of them aren't that good. I definitely, definitely want to watch Horimiya, though. Because, uh, it's, it's my favorite manga. It is a romance about, uh, two people who have, like, uh... You know, their own school personalities that they keep up, but then outside of school, they kind of relax a little bit and... have, uh, different things going on in their lives. Um, so, you know, who, who you see on the surface might not necessarily be indicative of who they are. And it's kind of a nice little sweet tale of, uh, of the love between these two people. They don't, like, beat around the bushes. They don't um, sugarcoat it. And it's, it's, there's no, like, stupid, you know, 100 chapters before they uh, hold hands for the first time. No, they're... They, 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 they're teenagers. They don't. They don't um, show anything, you know, explicit. But uh, you know, they're 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 in a relationship and they're doing relationshipy things, and it's it's shown in a in a very respectable way. Now it's kind of concerning about how they're going to handle. Um, it only happens like once, rather explicitly, and again, even then, it, it's it's very subtle and like it, I, I would consider it well done to, to show that two teenagers are, are banging because you you can butcher it and have it like just two naked teenagers in a bed or whatever and like make it really weird and strange um but they did they didn't they didn't do it they didn't they didn't make it weird they didn't uh they didn't make it weird and i respect that uh i like that actually um but they uh they, there's no you know, being around the bush in it. There's, there's none of that kind of garbage. It's just, it's just a nice, romantic tale between uh, two people who, who happen to, to be in love, and uh, it's, it's really, really sweet. It's, it's, my, it's like far and above my favorite uh, manga. Just bar none. I, uh, I love it. And uh, depending on what studio is animating it, there are a few scenes in it. That uh, that I would love to see animated, because there are, there are a few sort of um, like slapstick comedy moments that uh, could be really well done if they uh, if they animate it really well. So I'm I'm really hoping that they do, because <laughs> it uh, I'd love to see it um, animated really well and have that sort of like motion kind of comedy kind of in it, because it'd just be it'd just be wonderful. Uh, so I'll probably end up watching that, uh, and then Attack on Titan. You know, it's a, it's a good anime. I enjoy it. I'll probably watch that as well, and you know, a couple of them. But it's just like I just I can't I can't stay up on it anymore. Like this this season, I, I barely picked any of them out that I'd be interested in, and like 
that's even an unusually high amount of anime that I'd actually be interested in this season. It's just every every time I look at the anime, it's just like, yeah, yeah, I just, uh, no, thank you. <laughs> it's just it's just a lot of a lot of garbage, a lot of fan service, a lot of girls falling for guys for no reason and no character development and just a lot of garbage but uh and you know it's it's like um if i if it wasn't reading manga i'd probably still watch it because like there's still fun stories to a certain extent i still enjoy them it's just for me i just enjoy manga so much more like i'm reading omniscient uh, i'm I'm reading omniscient viewers or omniscient readers viewpoint or whatever right now. Way better than any anime. Well, yeah, no, way prob way better than probably any anime that's coming out this season, in my opinion. Not necessarily better than the manga, okay? That that they're based on. Not necessarily better than the light novels that they're based on, but specifically of um, the anime itself. Like, which would I enjoy more? I'd probably enjoy omniscient viewer or omniscient readers viewpoint. Uh, more than any of the anime, outside of maybe Horimiya, because again, that's it's like that's that's my favorite manga of all time. Um, I still don't own them. I, I really gotta buy them when I have the the money. They're 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 they're, they're that's that's that manga's on my top of my list right now. So I have not supported the author financially. I've only uh, pirated all of the manga, and uh, that makes me feel bad. So I definitely wanna order the. Uh, the manga. I think they're licensed in English, but I might just buy them in uh, in the original Japanese anyway. I'm not sure. The reason I buy something in English is typically because uh, I want other people to be able to read it as well. With something like Korimiya, nah, no, nobody else in my life is going to want to read it. At least not in person, you know. Like I have, uh, I have uh, One Punch Man. I own One Punch Man, like almost all of the volumes. Um, those are in English, because my sister also enjoys it, and like she can't read Japanese at all. So, you know, it's it's just a little bit better for her to to have it like that, so she's able to to enjoy the manga as well. Um, but for something like Horimiya, eh, like I don't, I don't really need it in English. It's I, I can't you know I can't necessarily read it myself either too well, um, but I, I can read it, just not necessarily that great. But it's it's a good way for me to to continue refining and, and learning the my, my my ability to to read the language. You know, it just just kind of immersing myself in it to to a certain extent anyway. You know, if, if I'm trying to learn Japanese, probably better off buying Japanese. You know written stuff than, than English written stuff. To a certain extent, anyway. I mean, I'm not going to buy a Japanese written textbook to learn Japanese. I'm definitely going to buy an English written one. Although I'm not really going to probably buy that either. Um, I hear an enormous amount of uh, crawlers, by the way. But, uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta buy the, the Horimiya uh, manga. Just because uh, yeah, I like supporting the authors. We talked about the piracy thing in, in a recent video. And I, I stand by what I said. I, I typically do stand by what I say, you know? I'm, I'm a very consistent individual, typically, with with most issues. You know what? No, I'm going to say I'm a very consistent uh, individual with all issues. Now, that's not to say that my opinion can't be changed. But that, uh, you know, if, if you're going to change my opinion, it's it's the same thing that you have to do for anything else, you know? Like, you look at the, the trolley problem or whatever, right? My stance on it is I don't interact. Okay? They put themselves in danger. I do nothing. You know? Then you'd be like, okay, let's say there's, uh, you know, five people on track one and zero people on track two. You can change the train to go to track two instead of track one. I do nothing. I, I choose to not interact with the uh, with the problem, because uh, you know, in my opinion, it's a it's a it's a stupid problem, right? Because uh, those five people should just get off the track. And they, you know, like, and I say this as somebody who has almost been hit by a train before. Like, I, I understand that it can happen, but um, you know, 
Like, it's it's just, uh... Although it wasn't my fault that I was almost hit by a train either. But, you know, I, I understand that it can happen. Um, it's just, uh... You know, I just, I just... For me... I don't, I don't want the power of, of, of having that choice. I don't want that responsibility. And, uh, you know, the people who are on the track should just get off. That's that's my stance on it. Clean up on aisle seven. It's always it's always been my stance on it, you know. And I'm very consistent on that. So, uh, you know, if there's there's like a game or something, I I saw a Northern Lion play it recently. I, I would just not like we're not gonna play the game because it would be very boring because I would just not interact. If I if I'm driving a car, I will swerve to avoid somebody, of course. But like. You know, if, if it's like, yeah, you're just like a person and you just have the ability to pull this lever and uh, it'll save these people, I, I'm not pulling it. Because A, you know, you put me in that actual situation, I'm probably just going to panic and not do anything anyway. And then B, I'm not going to know that if I pull the lever it's actually going to do anything. Oh, yeah. And if it, like, doesn't work or if I can't make it work, then I'm going to, like, feel bad for the rest of my life. So so my decision is, is just, um, you know... The people who are on the track should get off the track. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, not my responsibility to save them. That's, that's basically how, uh, how it boils down for me. Anyway, I, uh, I just don't like my anime, just the moral of the story. I just don't watch it much anymore, you know? Ever since I started reading manga, it's, it's, it's kind of been, uh, it's fallen to the wayside as an interest of mine. Just because, uh, on honestly, what happens is like, like you, like we were just showing off there. You know, we were going through it all, and it's like, oh yeah, that's a good one. Like I read that. You know, like that one's not that good. I've read that. You know, it's, and it's just, it's got to be good enough for me to want to read it again, or, or to watch it again. You know, and Hori Mia definitely hits that for me. I think Hori Mia definitely uh, hits that because I want, I want to see it animated. Now, if it's poor animation, which which is what happens oftentimes, I think that Horimiya, Horimiya is popular enough, or or is 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 mainstream enough to warrant like a, a decent studio taking on the Vintage. responsibility. Um, but you know, if it's a bad studio, then it's just like not fun, you know. Like I I want to watch uh, good animation. And I can appreciate good animation. It just doesn't happen much these days, especially with uh, with COVID going on. Like, they have a lot of trouble getting out good stuff, which is you know reasonable. I think, I think One Piece was on hold for a while. Like uh, the studio was shut down or something that made it, or you know the, the, the anime anyway. So they had uh, they had COVID in the studio or something like that, so they had to shut down. I can't remember. But One Piece was shut down for a while a while back. Which is uh, kind of crazy, but uh, yeah, I mean it's just it's just it's not for me anymore. You know, it used to be. It used to be. I don't know. Maybe my tastes have changed. Maybe I used to. You know, maybe maybe it's just kind of nostalgia talking. It's it's, uh, it's fairly common. You know, when you look back on something being uh, better. You know, and you're like, oh, I used to be good back in the old days, and oftentimes it's just... Like, it's, it's just your nostalgia speaking, it's not necessarily better. It's just back then, your tastes were different, you liked it, now you, you wish you would like it again, you know? So maybe, maybe anime hasn't changed for the worse. Maybe I've changed for the better. Whatever, whatever the case is, I, you know, it, ultimately, it doesn't really matter. Excuse me, you're, uh, you're in yellow phase right now, thank you? I don't think it really matters. Whether, whether I've changed or whether anime has changed. At the end of the day, I think I'm enjoying the uh, the content that I'm reading more than the content I was watching. I still get to, to be a part of conversations about stuff because, like, you know, it's based on the same stuff. You know, I, I can still talk about Horimiya with people even if I haven't uh, seen the anime. I might miss a couple of the references. They might add in a couple of uh, jokes or something that aren't in the manga, but, like, you know. Ultimately, it's the same thing, right? So I don't, I don't think it really matters whether I've uh, I've gotten better or anime's gotten worse. 
It's 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 a, it's a difference that that really just doesn't amount to anything. Is is kind of what it boils down to. Anyway, we have. Uh, it's, here's your stats. We have uh, finished the Christmas event. I've just realized the Christmas event is over. It's over. How many of these? We have 32 Krampus treat tickets. Let's open them up, dude. Let's open them up. It takes so freaking long to open these. Wreath backpack? Eh, not interested. I wish they'd like fix this animation, because this is the worst bomb. That that I might I might be interested in that. I might I might be interested in that. You could you could maybe uh You you could maybe convince me to use that one, yeah. So like the grenades are gonna be Christmas presents? That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm into that. Or is it like mines or something? It's all Christmas themed stuff, which is like, you know, not very useful now, because it's uh, quite a ways away until Christmas. But, you know, hey. Um, Christmas. Where's the Christmas present? Equipable with most characters. Gifts wrapping. Bomb. Okay, so it's just a face. Um, give me back my good look, please and thank you. Rockabilly wig. Pink. And then, oh my god, you need glasses on? Desperately. There you go. You look, you look a little bit more normal now. I guess. I don't remember what I look like. Do I use regular glasses? No, no, I don't like them. Retro sunglasses? Sure. I don't know. Whatever. It's going to do it for today, though, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.